Hello, people, and welcome to episode 26. And um, I am showing you the game against Fiorentina, which was played uh, on the 2nd of February, which was yesterday, I think. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, we lost, as you can see, uh, by a penalty in the 85th minute by uh, De Ag Agostino. Uh, Emmanuelson gave away the penalty, got, got booked for it as well, annoyed about that, so... I will make a decision about his future at the club at the end of the season, but it's sort of edging towards being sold at the moment because I'm not liking him. He's a good player, but I think I think obviously his, his allegiances lie in attacking areas of the pitch. So I might keep him, play him on the, on the wing and try and get a new left back in. So um, I'll decide on the plan of action at the end of the season. And as you can see down here, there's nothing really much in it. Look at two yellow cards each, possession practically the same. The penalty, the difference about on target, uh, and same amount of shots, really. So, um, it was it was an even game, really. I think, well, I say even, I mean, we dominated. We probably should have won the game, but it uh, doesn't matter. Our next game here is against Cantonia, and I will see you for that game. Hello, people. Welcome back to part two of this game against Cantonia at the San Siro. And happy days, happy days, fuckface returns as Robinho. The first game and the re wonderful return of Robinho. Hopefully he's on form. I've decided to play him in a new role in behind the uh, front two. If that doesn't work out, I'll switch him with Sanchez because he can play there as well. I was really tempted to play Pato up front, but with Ibrahimovic and Hernandez, uh, joint second top goal scorers in the league, I wanted them to... Uh, Take the front line and hopefully get a few goals. The uh, back four is changed with uh, Cohen Trao, Sacco, Socrates and De Vrij at the back. Uh, and Sergio keeps his place in goal even though my assistant said uh, I should drop him for poor form. Uh, and we're going to get on with the game. So Robinho returns in, uh, as Robinho, not as fuckface. And hopefully he gets a wonderful game today. Hernandez with a good run at the beginning. Pato. Robinho's in space and gets this one on target. Which I'm slightly more happy about because he scored. So, uh, before I just, every time he hit the ball at the goalkeeper, I just used to get pissed off because he didn't score. But he scored, so uh, I'll, I'll lighten up a bit. But uh, before this game, oh, well played by Sanchez twice. And Hernandez might be in here if he plays him in. He does now, and he hits it over. He just missed. But uh, as the commentator said, he will be kicking himself for that, or certainly I will. Robinho with the ball in and his crosses into the box aren't very good. Oh, De Vrij almost lost the ball, did well to keep it, but uh, gives it away with the pass. But, uh, yeah, so, lively start. Very lively start. And um, if you didn't see Robinho's goal, it was in the last episode versus Lazio, that 1-1 draw. If you haven't seen it already, go check it out. It was dynamite. I exaggerate, but uh, it was a good day. Uh, because Robinho scored, but you know, things came back to haunt me, and I did make a prediction at the beginning of that match. But uh, really, I urge you to go and watch it because it was a cracking match. It was a cracking episode as well for me because uh, I got a prediction right. Robinho scored, and um, once again, well, I'm going to give away the prediction now. But it seems that oh my god, it seems uh, well, a mistake there by Cohen Throw. It seems as though every person, oh my word who signs for a new club, scores against me, scores their first goal for their new club against me, which always seems to happen. I don't know if it's just me, maybe it happens to some of you. Oh my God, he almost parried that into the goal. But um, I don't know if it's just me. If it is, then I must be really unlucky because it happens on like every save. Uh, and because of that, I'm assuming it does happen to you quite a lot as well. But my God, I, I my in 2010 I had an Inter game which I played about six seasons with. I was in like 2000, yeah, 2000, yeah, something like that. Oh, what a volley! Crossed by Pato and good volley there by Sanchez, and he gets another goal. And um, as I said, but earlier on in the season he's starting to return with the goals now. He started to hitting them in recently, quite recently of. Well, not recently, but recently I have been looking over, obviously I have to review the videos before I upload them, just to make sure there's no mistakes and whatnot. And uh, I've been watching a few recently, and he's just been hitting them in. And, um, 
a good couple of goals from Sanchez. And I did say at uh, the beginning of this game to both of them that I expected a performance and uh, that's a good piece of play there from both of them. And look at that. Robinho, Hernandez and Ibrahimovic. I don't know if you saw it. It was around. Oh, my God. Oh, and it's gone in off the post. That was a lucky goal by Gomez. But it was awful defending by Sacco. He's not been playing well of late. Um, maybe I should play a slightly deeper defensive line because of that. Hmm. Advanced. Bit deep. I'll play it like that. And then, um, yeah. I'll keep it like that. Uh, I blame Saka for that goal, really. I think it was pretty much his fault. And we're not going to see the replay, thank God, because it was a shit goal. <sighs> My God. Coming on to us now. Yeah, they're having a bit of chances. Well, I was happy because we scored, but now we've conceded and bit. Oh my word! <sighs> well, that was that was a good goal. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it was a fantastic goal by um, Skiaka or whatever the fuck his name is. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter too much. Well, it does matter because well, Inter can catch up, but uh, they lost their last game against Roma two one, which is helpful. Fabulous strike, it really was. <laughs> Nothing I could have done about that. <clears throat> Maybe closing down a bit better might have worked, but uh, nothing from the front to, as of yet, Ibrahimovic, uh, Hernandez missed an easy chance, and as I, once again we go and rue our chances. Pato here gives away the ball unnecessarily. Closing down, just look at that. Not a, not good enough. And Devridge, well, that was poor defending. Sacco and Socrates had to go there. It was poor defending, poor uh, organised. It wasn't, I mean, unorganised defending there. And Rubinio puts that on to Hernandez. Hopefully he can go past his man. He does. Or in some similar type of fashion. Rubinio, and he gets one back. 2-2, two, two, and he scored 2-2, two or 2-3 two, uh, two for Rubinio now. Actually, I'm not sure if he played last game. Uh... Well, I don't, can't remember, but he's got a goal. When I put him in his central role, that's a good ball there from Hernandez, and he just smashed it. He almost hit it over, which would have been annoying, but he has scored and building confidence, no doubt. Oh, Sacco again, that's that's poor. I might take him off actually. He's the reason we conceded the first goal, and he's just been he's just been off it this game. <laughs> Mini highlight. <laughs> the bottom there if you didn't see and uh, yeah we've been playing quite poor we should be winning this game but uh, you know I'm happy Robinho scored again well let's I'm gonna have a look at the live league table and we obviously we get a point but into have a game in hand so I'd prefer to get those two points what have I done uh, my god okay um Team talk. Okay, what should I do? Should I take them off? Because they're doing awful, really. And I don't really want to risk this game. I'll leave them on. I'll leave them on. If they make any more uh, awful mistakes, they're dropped. And I'll just keep Nestor and, uh, and Silver in there. But uh, we started well. Rubini on the edge. Ibrahimovic. Pato is in. Some space. Gattuso! 3-2. And we've had a comeback. Gattuso scores. <laughs> I didn't think that he would have scored that. I think that's just poor goalkeeping. But Pato missed an easy chance uh, to put us in the lead. But luckily it went in. He should have finished that one. But with two, it trick, well, deflected. The goalkeeper should have... Well, it was going wide. Deflected and the goalkeeper should have done better. It was poor goalkeeping. And uh, that's well, that's got us a 3-2 lead at the San Siro here. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying this. It's really fun. <laughs> Well, we could have been... Well, I can I can see them scoring. Oh, my God. Sacco again. It's awful marking from him. Good touch from Hernandez. And he's got past his man. He can run inside, but he stayed wide. What's he doing? Oh, it would have been a brilliant goal if he scored that. Cointreau. Oh, Hernandez can't get to it. Sanchez can, though. Gattuso wins a free kick. And I'm going to replace Sacco because he's been awful, in my view. He really has. 
Sylvie are going to come on. Uh, Katusa, you can stay where you are. You're doing brilliant. It's the front too. It's yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring on Lukaku. And Seidolf. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make Kaku. No, sorry. Kaku that. And who's playing? Yeah, Seidolf. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. And so ball in. And Pato commits the foul. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Once again, <laughs> one of those situations where you think you might just sneak a penalty there. An hour has gone and we have a 3-2 lead here at the San Siro. Running down the clock. Seidolf with the free kick. Deflected and in! It's a goal! And Seidolf is the scorer with the free kick. It's his first goal. He is severely lacking match fitness, if I'm honest. I uh, haven't really played him that often, as you see. But with Cassano out, uh, I'm going to have to rotate with Pastore. And that estate to claim another deflection. It That took a deflection off Robinho. So... <laughs> But they've counted it as Seidel's goal, which I'm happy for him because he is an AC Milan veteran. He used to play for Real Madrid, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he is a veteran nonetheless. Uh, AC Milan legend, in my view. One of my, one of my all-time favourite players, to be honest. But uh, he not really doing it for me on the game. But he staked the claim for the next couple of, uh, next couple of weeks while uh, Cassano's out. Well, I'm not happy with Cassano. Cassano is the new fuckface. <laughs> That's going to be a sort of disease now in this series. If someone doesn't score, who I feel should be scoring almost... Oh, I'm lucky there from Pato. Got in a good area. Lukaku was off it there. He was not thinking. The inexperienced uh, striker. And look at him. <laughs> he really is a drug bro, isn't he? <laughs> He's the second... Oh, wow. What a shot. As I said... Well, I said that earlier in the season. Just wait for Seidolf to get in a bit of space and hit it. And he hit that one. And he let that go up for a throw. And, uh, yeah, he is the new Drogba. Lukaku lagging back from the offside position. I love Gattuso. He's battling for the ball. And you always see him winning winning the ball as well. 4-2 the lead here. I'm going to go... Well, that didn't look very nice. So I'm going to go control, retain possession... Pass to space. See if it works. Actually, I'm not going to say retain possession because we don't need to retain possession. <coughs> oh, Rubinia. Well, if that was on target, I could see that one flying in. On the form he's been on. Oh, my God. I've actually forgot and I've gone back to TV view, haven't I? <laughs> I've really just learned. But what a game that was. For us, <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed it. I don't know about you, but look, that has been that was a cracking game. Rubinho, man of the match. He's first man of the match, and another assist. And Ibrahimovic and Hernandez have another flat game. Our strikers do nothing this game. And look at the goal scorers, all midfielders. Nothing from the strikers, which was quite poor, but it was a good comeback from us. Van de Veel, Ooh, very nice. Ten million. That's I could do I could do with a 10 million loss for him. But uh, that is going to do it for this game. And as you can see, international break. And after that, we have Badi. And we are coming up against a very dangerous Barreto, who is the league's top goal scorer with 21 goals. <laughs> Somehow, Abba Hernandez and Ibrahimovic joint second still with 16 apiece. Uh, Pastore with a... Perlo with seven assists, Hernandez with five, uh, Pastore completely dropped out of the average rating, uh, I think that's only for the last five games, no it's not, uh, it's maybe for overall, for the whole season maybe, uh, what else, what else, Gattuso as I said tackles, what the fuck, and um, yeah, so that's it for this episode, I hope I will see you for the game against Bali. And I will go back to Classic View because I completely, I completely forgot. I apologise for that. But I will see you 